exactly how much do you think it costs to build your own raised bed these days, especially given the price of lumber? And how about this? How much does it cost you to raise one pound of potatoes versus buying it at the store? Guten yarning, everybody! Well, today marks the first in what we hope to be a long series where we talk about yardening finance, basically the actual true cost of gardening. Now we want to do this from a project to project basis, meaning we want to share the actual values, the actual costs of the different things that we're building, experimenting with, growing, so you can get a really good idea of what we're spending in order to bring in all of this organic produce and really to improve ourselves as gardeners. Now, of course, we could focus this on just the benefits of gardening, but that's an entirely different series where we talk about why we garden. And we've just got started with that if you want to check that out. But what we want to really focus on is not just the benefits of the food tasting better, having all that fresh produce, you know, all of the mental health aspect of gardening, which of course is absolutely fantastic and a very important part to us of this process. I mean, I don't think there's anything quite as cathartic and enjoyable to me as getting outside or even inside in our indoor grow area here and spending some time working with the plants and really coming to a, an end goal of that great produce that we've been getting. But there is definitely some cost that's going to be associated with this experience. For example, our indoor raised bed, our indoor sweet potatoes, and we wanna break down these different scenarios, these different setups for you so you can see what that real cost is. That's an important part to us, but we wanna gauge your interest as well. So we wanna know if this is something that sounds like an interesting series to you and what you would like to hear about specifically so that we could get that focused in for our different experiences and our different experiments and the different styles of growing because some of the things that we are growing are certainly more cost effective than others. Some of the methods we use, some of the mediums we use. So we're going to do this in a piece by piece basis where we break down our specific costs so you can see. It sort of pulls back the curtain, I think, to what we're doing. And one of the reasons we want to do this is I think that there's an absolute expectation that what we're doing is going to cost money. I mean, that makes sense. Everyone knows that gardening isn't free. Though we have talked about the fact that typically our costs go down over time from those startup costs. So we're looking at what that value added is in comparison to that true financial output, to that true cost. I think if we knew five or six years ago as we were just getting into transforming our yard and space, if we knew then what we know now, we'd be in much better shape and we would have done things more efficiently. But that's part of the growing experience and one of the reasons why we wanted to start this series so that you can learn from what we've done some of our successes and certainly some of our mistakes along the way and you can see really the cost in this entire process and how to really be efficient I think in growing your own fresh produce. So if this is something that sounds interesting to you, something you'd like to hear more about, please go ahead and leave us a comment down below and let us know what your thoughts are. One thing we'd like to know is what you'd like to hear about in terms of what we've been growing, or if you haven't seen any of our other content, certainly go back and check out some of our other videos, some of our other setups. I mean, we have green stalk gardens that we're growing in right now, and there's some costs associated with that, especially in the short term that really evens out long term, but that's an example of something that I'm talking about here. So we have these different setups, we have value that we're definitely getting from them, but we want to show you piece by piece our expenditures as well. I think this is a great opportunity, especially if you're brand new to gardening, you're trying to get into this and you want to know, well, where should I be focusing my funds or how should I best use the money that I have toward gardening so that I get the best results out of it. So we can show you some of that in terms of what we've done, what we've had success with and the costs associated therein. And we won't just limit it to supplies. I mean, although that I think is very important, we'll also talk the expenditure, especially here in our indoor growing setup, 
We'll talk about the expenditure with lights and that overall cost as well. I've seen that question come up many times before where somebody says, yeah, this is all great until you see your electricity bill. Well, I can assure you it's not nearly as bad as you'd think if you're just getting started with this process. You know, that's kind of the amazing part about gardening. We're going to show you the cost, but at the same time, you're going to see inherent in that those rewards that come in at the same time. So if the cost of gardening is something that you're interested in, again, leave us a comment down below. I'm really excited to have a couple of different series going on this winter. So check this one out. Certainly stay tuned for more content, especially if this is an area that you're interested in. And also check out our other series where we talk about why we yarden in the first place. I gotta say the last few years where we've been expanding our gardening space all around our property have been some of the most rewarding years. And added to that, the fact that we're here on this channel with Guten Yardening, sharing this with all of you, that adds just another level of enjoyment as well. So stay tuned for great content. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to hear from us. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.